Hey YouTube, got another video coming at you. Um, getting ready to go camping for uh, this weekend. It's going to be actually the first camping trip I'm taking my kids on, so I'm very excited, uh, and they are very excited too. So, uh, what I have here, this is kind of a take off of on um, a little kit that USN ER Doc had put together. Talks about when he's going camping, he's always got a, a pouch that he always has with him for an emergency, and that's basically what I put together here. Um, it's based on a Max Position 10x4 water bottle holder and I kind of have just some of the essentials in here. This will stay um, either on my pack or if I'm out and about, probably won't be that much since I got my kids with me, but if I'm out and about I may just grab this to uh, take with me and that way not only do I have water, I also have some essentials should I for some reason get lost, go make it back to the camp, whatever. So anyhow, got the Max Position 10x4 water bottle holder, great little pouch. Got the main pack back here for the water bottle, which is insulated. Uh, another nice feature is padded. And then it's got a very nice size, I believe it's six inches by four inches uh, pouch size here. And not to get into too much of the, uh, into the pouch itself, I'm sure you're familiar with Max Expedition quality. It's very good stuff. Um, so anyhow, what I have here. On the one side, I have an EOD mini breacher bar. It's a nice little uh, good size tool if you're familiar with County Com. Um, this, uh, this is their MIDI size and I uh, put a little edge on it. It's not the sharpest uh, edge in the world, but for gentle tasks it's very good. And I just made a little uh, kind of plastic, it's not really Kydex, it's some other plastic I had in the shop laying around. And it's got a little uh, just regular metal clip on the back to slide it on here. That way that's always with me, um, always attached to this pouch. And on the other side, slid up here into the PALS webbing, is just 25 feet of 550 cord that's bound up. And it should be more than enough for anything that I might need. Obviously in the main pouch, I have, let's get back to this, I have a stainless steel water bottle. And um, reason going with the stainless steel water bottle is if for some reason, uh, separated, lost, whatever, and I have to get water, I can boil water in this to uh, make sure it's purified um, for consumption. So anyhow, that out, goes right in the top there. Fits nice there. And in the front here, what I had, and this is, obviously doesn't go with it, it's a uh, coyote brown color, but it's a shoulder strap that I had from another pack, or another bag that I had. And if I am gonna be going about, out and about, there's two D-rings on the side of the pouch here that I can attach this to. So this can be a standalone uh, standalone pouch. It doesn't need to be attached to a pack. Now, getting into the meat and potatoes of this, in here is your basics. Obviously we know shelter, fire, water are the main things that you need in a survival situation. So we've got water covered. If we should already have enough water left in there. And now I got this pretty well jammed up, but we'll go through the contents here. I went with the, the high vis 550 cord, yellow 550 cord here. So you put this around your neck, and um, if you do drop this or lay it down, at least it's uh, bright yellow, you should be able to see. And I've got a fire steel on here, a whistle and a little button compass that um, just stays on here. And again, this can get thrown around your neck if you, if you need to when you have all this stuff out. Um, a note on these fire steels, um, if you normally see these, it's light my fire, mill spec, something what it is. When they come, they come with like this, uh, like a painted coating on here. Um, I just took some sandpaper, filed it down. Um, it works real, real well once you take that coating off of there. Anyhow, let me get back to here. The uh, ubiquitous Altoids tin, I just got a rubber band to make sure it stays secured if I go to grab it out of here. And in here, I have two Jolly Ranchers, you know, a little, little sugar goes a long way, a comfort, big lighter, and I threw some safety pins in, Lord knows I have tons and tons of uses, can't really go wrong with them. And, let me drop these out. A uh, couple single straight razor blades that are already wrapped up. If for some reason you need some real sharp tasks, like I said, 
my, butch, my breech of bar is not super, super sharp. Um, I have these for any real serious cutting I might need to do. Bunch of band-aids and some alcohol wipes. And this can actually also go hand in hand with the fire starter lighter as some quick emergency tinder to uh, get the fire started. And next what we have a uh, Adventure Medical Kits Amkey the two person heat sheet. Um, without opening up I had, still have it sealed up in here. I was going to um, try and vacuum seal it but I don't know how much more this can get packed down. This is packed up in here pretty tight. I think if I were to take it out and open it up um, and then fold it back up I could do so. And what's interesting on here without taking it out it's kind of hard to see but there's some writing and there's some diagrams and it's just got some basic survival and first aid instructions printed on there. And again this is a two person size that way it's a little bit bigger. Um, you, you can really wrap yourself up with it. What I do have vacuum sealed is just some simple uh, two by twos and four by fours. Um, if band-aids don't cut, if there's a little more serious injury, a little larger cut, definitely uh, not bad. Doesn't take up that much space, uh, and it's a good addition to the kit. Got a glow stick at night, chases away the boogie monster. Got a fire straw. I actually had a blowout when I was making this, so I just threw some tape on the end here. Um, but in here is some Vaseline soaked cotton. That way I have some dedicated fire tinder to get things going. Duct tape, or actually Gorilla Tape, indispensable. You gotta have this. Some wire ties, again, kind of right up there with duct tape nowadays. These are great things to have. Take very little space, very lightweight. And lastly, I have two uh, heavy contractor garbage bags. Uh, I know in, if you look up USN ERs, uh, ER Docs kit, I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly what he called it, but in his kit he's got a 55-gallon uh, drum Mylar liner, and it's actually, it's about the same thickness as uh, these contractor bags. It's just much, much larger, but, you know, I already have a big old box of these contractor bags in my shed for when I'm doing yard work, so two of them folded up, you see. And again, I could maybe throw these in vacuum packing, but that's eh, that's not too bad as it is. So that's two large 55-gallon bags, uh, and you can use this to make a shelter, impromptu uh, poncho, or as a ground cover. So lots to use with these. Between all this stuff on here, you can definitely uh, last a couple days given your situation. So. I think I've got pretty much all my bases covered. If you guys could think of anything that I may have missed, uh, let me know and I'll probably wind up adding it. As with all kits that you put together, everything's always a work in progress and there's always additions and deletions going on with this stuff. I'm actually thinking about maybe see if I can get one of them Swedish volcano stoves. I think that'll fit in here real nice. That way you definitely have an easy way to kind of boil some water and whatnot. Thanks for watching. Again, make any comments that you might have, good, bad, and different, I'd love to hear them. Thanks, thanks again.